Cooking with the vegan zombie. Good. A kitchen. I was getting pretty hungry. We're hanging out in this old abandoned house. Kind of just went out wandering and found this place. So I'm thinking, I found the kitchen. And what's on the menu for today? <laughs> Spicy black bean burgers. Get stoked for it. What do we need to make it? I'll show you. One large potato. Fry that up. I like to add a little bit of dry herbs. We got a teaspoon of rosemary, a teaspoon of thyme, and a half a teaspoon of sage. A little salt and a little pepper. Probably a half a teaspoon of each. It's been about five minutes now. It's time to add the onion. Got a cup of finely chopped onion. Not only am I gonna add the onion though, I'm gonna add some grated garlic, two cloves, and one chipotle pepper. Or two if you're not a wimp like me. Stir that up for about another five, maybe 10 minutes. Once your potatoes are done, you don't want the potatoes to get too, too brown because otherwise they won't mush as well. Here, I have one half of a poblano pepper. I'm just gonna slice it finely and then cube it up. Give a nice fine dice. Be careful, this is dangerous. Okay, stir this in. Cook it for another two, three minutes. Just till the peppers are soft. And then dump this in a bowl and let it cool down. We're ready to take it off the flame and dump it in a bowl to cool it. She's going in. Oh no! We're gonna add a cup and a half of black beans. Stir it in there. And then let it cool down because we're gonna mush it. We're gonna mush it up. You could use a food processor if you have one, but I don't see one here, and I'll just use these bad boys. Once everything's cooled off and you can deal with it with your hands without burning your hand off, it's time to add the last two real ingredients. And that is a quarter cup of Daya cheese. I use the pepper jack. Um, you don't need the cheese if you don't want it. It just kind of helps bind the burger a little bit better than just the potato. And uh, two tablespoons of brown sugar. You're gonna wanna just get in there and mix it with your hands. It's like zombie brains. Ugh. Who wants to eat now, huh? At this point, give it a try. It might need a little salt, a little pepper. This does. I'm gonna add another half a teaspoon of salt and another half a teaspoon of pepper. Now is the fun part. I got here a half a cup of breadcrumbs. Gonna have to get my hands dirty again. Mix it all in. Then the last thing you gotta do is form it into a little burger patty. Don't make it too thin, don't make it too thick. You kind of want to just, it might take a couple tries. I find that about the width of my thumb, the thickness of my thumb makes a really good burger. But you could try, I mean, maybe you're gonna be lucky, I don't know. All right, before you put it to the frying pan, you just gotta dredge it in a little bit of flour, just like that, and she's ready. So I have a frying pan, medium heat, coated with oil. I'm just gonna pop this right on there. Listen to it sizzle. All right, it's been about five minutes. It's time to flip these bad boys over. That's perfect. That's what you want it to look like right there. That's it. Boom. This recipe makes about five burgers that are this size. You can make little sliders if you want. I mean, I don't know, get creative. So, our burgers are done. All you gotta do is just put a little bit of fresh cracked pepper on top. Mm. 
little little freckle of salt. I got some fresh lettuce and some fresh tomato. Boom. I don't have any pickles. I raided the whole house. I got no pickles. Put whatever kind of toppings you want on this because she's ready to go. That's a good burger. It's not processed. It's just all good. Well, guys, that about wraps it up. The only things that were missing were some beignets, some pickles. But they're still really good. I think you guys are going to love them. I made it one more day in this weird house, but I'm okay. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. So we'll keep you up to date on any new recipes we have in the works. And other than that, guys, just be careful out there. You can never be too careful. <laughs> Have you been bit? No, have you? No. Here, take this. Clean that blood off. We gotta get out of here soon. Wherever there's one, there's a lot more. <laughs>